Formatting the cells can make a radical difference about how easy your data are to understand. For the purposes of this lecture, we have some simple statistics about active social media users in different channels. There are no formulas in any cells at this lecture. Most of the cell formatting tools are located in the Home tab of the ribbon. But you can access to many options also by right-clicking the cell you want to format and selecting Format Cells. Now our task is to enhance this table a little bit. I will copy it to another sheet by right-clicking the sheet name and selecting Move or Copy. I renamed the sheet to Formatted. Maybe the first observation from the table is that the strings don't quite fit into the cells. To fix this, we have multiple options. By clicking the edge of the header and dragging the mouse, we can adjust the width however we want. The width can also be adjusted automatically by double-clicking the header's edge. Both of the options are also available in the Format drop-down menu. For the column C, none of these methods don't work very well, as the numbers would look very lonely in such wide column. Rather, select cell C1 and click a Wrap Text button from the menu. I like to align the columns with long text strings to the left, such as column A, and columns with less data to the center, which is the case for columns B and C. The vertical alignment of header columns can also be switched to center to make them look more balanced. Another modification for the header row would be to make the cells bold and set bottom borderline for them. Similarly, the total row can be formatted bold and let's also select nice borderlines from the dropdown. It's also possible to merge cells. In this case, we could merge cells in the country column to mention each country only once. So let's select the cells and hit the delete key. Then merge first four and last six cells. Then write the names of the countries back to the merge cells. Vertical centering is again a way to go. Let's also add a nice trick here by tilting the text 45 degrees. If someone would like to see the largest sites quickly, it would be a good idea to mark those with distinct colors. Green is good choice in this example. Finally, the grid lines can be disabled from View tabs Show section. Now it's more difficult to say where China ends and USA begins. From the Home tab, we can add some soft background colors for each country. Maybe something red for China and blue for United States. By comparing our formatted and original sheets, it's easy to see that the cell formatting had a dramatic visual impact to the data. And one more thing. There are also many pre-formatted cell styles available in the menu. Use them or create your own.